In mathematics and theoretical physics, a pseudo-Euclidean space is a finite dimensional real n space together with a non-degenerate quadratic form Q. Such a quadratic form can, given a suitable choice of basis E1 n, be applied to a vector x equals x1 E1 plus plus x n E n, giving Q x equals x 1 2 plus plus x k 2 minus x k plus 1 2 plus plus x n 2 display style q x equals left x underscore 1 carrot 2 plus c d o t s plus x underscore k carrot 2 right left x underscore k plus 1 carrot 2 plus c d o t s plus x underscore n carrot 2 right which is called the magnitude of the vector x for euclidean spaces k topic n implying that the quadratic form is positive definite when 0 does not equal k does not equal n q is an isotropic quadratic form note that if i k and j greater than k then q a plus e j zero, so that a plus e j is a null vector. In a pseudo-Euclidean space with k does not equal n, unlike in a Euclidean space, there exist vectors with negative magnitude. As with the term Euclidean space, pseudo-Euclidean space may refer to either an affine space or a vector space, though the latter may also be referred to as a pseudo-Euclidean vector space see point vector distinction. topic geometry the geometry of a pseudo euclidean space is consistent in spite of a breakdown of the some properties of euclidean space most notably that it is not a metric space as explained below the affine structure is unchanged and thus also the concepts line plane and generally of an affine subspace flat as well as line segments Topic positive, zero, and negative magnitudes A null vector is a vector for which the quadratic form is zero. Unlike in a Euclidean space, the vector can be non-zero, in which case it is orthogonal to itself. If the quadratic form is indefinite, a pseudo-Euclidean space has a linear cone of null vectors given by x, q, x equals zero. When the pseudo-Euclidean space provides a model for spacetime, see below, the null cone is called the light cone of the origin. The null cone separates two open sets, for which q x greater than zero and q x zero is connected. If k equals one, then it consists of two disjoint parts, one with x one greater than zero and another with x one. Equals. topic interval equals the quadratic form q corresponds to the square of a vector in euclidean case to define the vector norm and distance in an invariant manner one has to get square roots of magnitudes which leads to possibly imaginary distances see square root of negative numbers but even for a triangle with positive magnitudes of all three sides whose square roots are real and positive, the triangle inequality does not hold in general. Hence terms norm and distance are avoided in pseudo-Euclidean geometry, replaced with magnitude and interval respectively. 
though, for a curve whose tangent vectors all have the same sign of magnitude, the arc length is defined. It has important applications, see proper time, for example. <laughs> Rotations and spheres The rotations group of such space is indefinite orthogonal group O Q, also denoted as O K, N -K without a reference to particular quadratic form. Such «rotations» preserve the form Q and, hence, the magnitude of each vector including whether it is positive, zero, or negative. Whereas Euclidean space has a unit sphere, pseudo-Euclidean space has the hypersurfaces x, q, x. Topic one and x, q, x minus one. Such a hypersurface, called a quasi-sphere, is preserved by the appropriate indefinite orthogonal group. Topic: Symmetric bilinear form. The quadratic form Q gives rise to a symmetric bilinear form defined as follows: x, y equals one, two, Q x plus y. Minus Q X minus Q Y equals X one Y one plus plus X K Y K Minus x k plus one y k plus one plus plus x n y n Display style Langle x, y, Wrangle equals frac one, two, q, x plus y, q, x, q, y equals left x underscore one, y underscore one plus C D O T S plus x underscore K, y underscore K, right, left x underscore K plus one, y underscore K plus one plus C D O T S plus x underscore N, y underscore Score n right. The quadratic form can be expressed in terms of the bilinear form q x equals x x display style q x equals Langle x x wrangle. When x y equals zero display style Langle x y wrangle equals zero, then x and y are orthogonal vectors of the pseudo Euclidean space. This bilinear form is often referred to as the scalar product, and sometimes as inner product or dot product, but it does not define an inner product space and it does not have the properties of the dot product of Euclidean vectors. If x and y are orthogonal and q x q y zero display style q x q y, then x is hyperbolic orthogonal to y. The standard basis of the real n space is orthogonal. There are no orthonormal bases in a pseudo Euclidean space for which the bilinear form is indefinite, because it cannot be used to define a vector norm. <laughs> <laughs> Subspaces and orthogonality For a positive dimensional subspace U of a pseudo-Euclidean space, when the quadratic form Q is restricted to U, following three cases are possible Q, U is either positive or negative definite. Then, U is essentially Euclidean up to the sign of Q. 
q, u is indefinite, but non-degenerate. Then, u is itself pseudo-Euclidean. It is possible only if dim u2, if dim u equals 2, which means then u is a plane, then it is called a hyperbolic plane. q, u is degenerate. One of most jarring properties for a Euclidean intuition of pseudo-Euclidean vectors and flats is their orthogonality. When two non-zero Euclidean vectors are orthogonal, they are not collinear. The intersections of any Euclidean linear subspace with its orthogonal complement is the zero subspace. But the definition from the previous subsection immediately implies that any vector ν of zero magnitude is orthogonal to itself. Hence, the isotropic line n equals ν generated by a null vector ν is a subset of its orthogonal complement n. The formal definition of the orthogonal complement of a vector subspace in a pseudo-Euclidean space gives a perfectly well-defined result, which satisfies the equality dim u plus dim u equals n due to the quadratic form's non-degeneracy. It is just the condition u u topic zero or equivalently u plus u. All space, which can be broken if the subspace U contains a null direction. While subspaces form a lattice, as in any vector space, this operation is not an orthocomplementation, in contrast to inner product spaces. For a subspace N composed entirely of null vectors which means that the magnitude Q, restricted to N, equals to zero, always holds N N or, equivalently, N N equals N such a subspace can have up to min K, N minus K dimensions. For a positive Euclidean K subspace, its orthogonal complement is a N minus K dimensional negative Euclidean subspace, and vice versa. Generally, for a d plus plus d minus plus d zero dimensional subspace U consisting of d plus positive and d minus negative dimensions, see Sylvester's law of inertia for clarification. Its orthogonal complement U has k minus d plus minus d zero positive and n minus k minus d minus minus d zero negative dimensions, while the rest d zero ones are degenerate and form the U U intersection. Topic: <laughs> Parallelogram law and Pythagorean theorem. The parallelogram law takes the form Q X plus Q Y equals one two Q X plus Y plus Q X Minus y display style q x plus q y equals frac one two q x plus y plus q x y. Using the square of the sum identity for an arbitrary triangle, one can express the magnitude of the third side from magnitudes of two sides and their bilinear form product q x plus y equals q x plus q y plus 2 x y Display style q x plus y equals q x plus q y plus two Langle x y wrangle. This demonstrates that for orthogonal vectors, a pseudo-Euclidean analog of the Pythagorean theorem holds x y equals zero 
Q X plus Q Y equals Q X plus Y Display style Langle x, y, wrangle equals zero, right arrow q, x plus q, y equals q, x plus y. Topic Angle Generally, absolute value, x, y, are the bilinear form on two vectors may be greater than square root, q, x, q, y, equal to it, or less. This causes similar problems with definition of angle see dot product section geometric definition as appeared above for distances. If k equals 1 only one positive term in q, then for positive magnitude vectors, x y q x q y display style langle x y wrangle g q s q r t q x q y which permits definition of the hyperbolic angle an analog of angle between these vectors through inverse hyperbolic cosine arcosh x y q x q y display style operator name arcosh frac langle x y wrangle sqrt q x q y it corresponds to the distance on a n minus 1 dimensional hyperbolic space this is known as rapidity in the context of theory of relativity discussed below. Unlike Euclidean angle, it takes values from 0, plus infinity and equals to 0 for antiparallel vectors. There is no reasonable definition of the angle between a null vector and another vector either null or non -null. Topic algebra and tensor calculus Like Euclidean spaces, every pseudo-Euclidean space possesses a geometric algebra. Unlike properties above, where replacement of q to minus q changed numbers but not geometry, the sign reversal of the quadratic form actually alters c, so for example c1, 2 r, and c2, 1 r, are not isomorphic. Just like over any vector space, there are pseudo-Euclidean tensors. Like with a Euclidean structure, there are raising and lowering indices operators but, unlike the case with Euclidean tensors, there is no basis where these operations do not change values of components. If there is a vector v beta, the corresponding covariant vector is v alpha equals q alpha beta v beta. Display style v underscore alpha equals q underscore alpha beta v caret beta, and with the standard form q alpha beta equals i k times k o o minus i n minus k times n minus k. Display style q underscore alpha beta equals begin p matrix i I underscore k times k and zero zero and I underscore n k times n k end p matrix. The first k components of v alpha are numerically the same as ones of v beta, but the rest n minus k have opposite signs. The correspondence between contravariant and covariant tensors makes a tensor calculus on pseudo Riemannian manifolds analogous to one on Riemannian manifolds. Topic Examples A very important pseudo Euclidean space is Minkowski space, which is the mathematical setting in which Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity is formulated. For Minkowski space, N Topic four and K Three so that Q X 
equals x 1 2 plus x 2 2 plus x 3 2 minus x 4 2 Display style q x equals x underscore one carrot two plus x underscore two carrot two plus x underscore three carrot two x underscore four carrot two. The geometry associated with this pseudo metric was investigated by Poincare. Its rotation group is the Lorentz group. The Poincaré group includes also translations and plays the same role as Euclidean groups of ordinary Euclidean spaces. Another pseudo-Euclidean space is the plane Z equals X plus Y J consisting of split complex numbers, equipped with the quadratic form Z equals Z Z equals Z Z equals x two minus y two. Display style L vert Z R vert equals Z Z carrot asterisk equals Z carrot asterisk Z equals x carrot two y carrot two. This is the simplest case of an indefinite pseudo-Euclidean space n. Topic 2k 1 and the only one where the null cone dissects the space to four open sets. The group so plus 1 1 consists of so named hyperbolic rotations. Topic. See also Hyperbolic equation Hyperboloid model Paravector Footnotes <laughs>